Now this video is going to take you through a method called equating coefficients. So what you do with this is you compare the terms that are on each side of the equal sign. So for example we have the following x plus 2 is a factor of 4x squared plus 7x minus 2 and we want to find the other factor. So first of all rewrite that looking like this. So 4x squared plus 7x minus 2 is identically equal to, that's what those three equal signs means, it means it's true for all values of x. Now um, most of the time we actually don't bother writing all three of them, um, but just for the sake of being absolutely correct on your notation, that's what I'm putting in here. Okay, so if x plus 2 is a factor, then that is equal to x plus 2 multiplied by some other factor. We don't know the values of a and b that would make that other factor, but we know it has to be a linear bracket because we've got it equal to a quadratic on the left-hand side. So then we compare what happens on each side of the equal sign. So first of all, looking at the x squared term, and we look at the coefficients for that. So on the left, we have a 4x squared. So we get um, a 4 from that coefficient. And on the right, we can make x squared from doing the x times the ax part of the bracket. So comparing those uh, those coefficients, we would have a 4 on the left and an a on the right. Therefore, a is equal to 4. Now I'm going to look at the constant term because that's a little easier than the um, x term. So um, you just pick out the easiest parts of these. You don't have to go through doing them in order like x squared, x, and then constants. You just pick out whatever's easiest. Now I'm choosing the constant because there's only one way to make a constant from the right-hand side of that equation. So on the left, we have minus 2. To make a constant, multiplying out that bracket on the right would be 2b. So we get minus 2 must be equal to 2b. So b is equal to minus 1. So the other factor is 4x minus 1, just simply placing it into um, that second bracket for a and b. Okay, 2x plus 1 is a factor of this cubic. We want to find the other two factors. So, 2x cubed plus 7x squared plus 7x plus 2 is identically equal to 2x plus 1 multiplied by something. Now that something has to be a quadratic, because we're ending up with a cubic, we must have a quadratic there, or, um, you know, the order is 2. So if we compare our coefficients of x cubed, we've got a 2 from the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side we, we make x cubed by doing that 2x multiplied by the ax squared. So therefore 2 is equal to 2a, and a is 1. If we compare the constants then there's only one way to make that on the right-hand side. It's the 1 times the c, and we've got the 2 on the left-hand side, and 1 times c is, of course, c, so therefore c is just equal to 2. Now, to find the b value, um, we'll look at the x terms. We could either choose the x squared or the x. I'm just going to pick out the x terms. So on the left, we have the 7x, and on the right, we can make an x term by doing 2x plus c, sorry, 2x times c, or by doing 1 times bx. So if we take the coefficients of each of those things, we've got the 7 on the left, we've got the 2c on the right and the b on the right. They would both make up x terms. Now we already know that c is 2, so b must be 3. And then just write, rewriting that into our quadratic bracket. So a was 1, b is 3, and c is 2. Now we want to find the other two factors, so we then have to factorise that quadratic, which should be fairly straightforward. OK, next example. We want to divide this cubic by x plus 1. Now, if it can divide exactly, that means that x plus 1 is a factor, and we get the following, just like we did on the last um, example. But it may not divide exactly, so we might also have a remainder. So you do this plus r at the end. Now that remainder would be some sort of um, constant. Okay, so um, comparing the coefficients of x cubed, we get 5 on the left and a on the right. If we look at x squared, 
We've got no x squared on the left, but we can make an x squared on the right by doing ax squared times 1 and bx times x. So we get b is equal to minus 5, since we already know that a is 5. Comparing the x terms in a similar way, we've got 2 on the left, and from the right we can get um, the b and the c. So c must be 7, since we know that b is minus 5 and our constant terms. Well, that will be the, the remainder that's left at the end as well as the c that can come out of that bracket there. So we um, get the remainder is equal to minus 8. So putting those values back in, it looks like this. So what that would look like, if you were asked to write it like a like an equation. If you did that division, it would be equal to 5x squared minus 5x plus 7, that bit in the bracket, plus it would have 8 left over that would still need to be divided by x plus 1. It's kind of like um, if you're doing long division. This is sometimes called the quotient end remainder form, and you might need to express it like that.